continue working throughout the talk. So at some point, all right. So they've told me one, two. Your friends need more brains. This is Tom Eston, Kevin Johnson, and Robin Wood. Hello, Schmookon. Welcome to Social Zombies 2, Your Friends Need More Brains. This presentation is starring myself, Tom Eston. By, by day, I am a penetration tester for a large Fortune 500 company. And by night, obviously, I am a zombie looking for brains in monster energy drink machines in Vegas. I'm Robin Woods. <laughs> Robin, you need to get your animals to the vet. Yeah. <laughs> They're the healthy looking ones. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm known as Digi Ninja on a lot of channels. I've uh, got quite a few tools out there. Krios, Yasuga Interceptor, Cool. Um, unlike most people who are giving the talks, what I say is representative of my employer because I'm self-employed. I do pen testing and web development and security tools. So if anybody wants to hire me, I'm free. Come talk to me later. <laughs> <laughs> free. He's free, yeah. It, it's all open source. <laughs> I'm Kevin Johnson. I'm within Guardians. As to whether or not my employer agrees with me, if they don't, they have schmoo balls. <laughs> yeah, you're wanted by the Umbrella Corporation, apparently. I went in their web app. <laughs> so why are we here today, right? We're here to talk about social networks, and we want to continue the discussion that we started at DEF CON 17. So Facebook, right? Facebook's still the number one social network. It grew by at least 25 million since we talked about them at DEF CON. So they're around 350 million users right now. Interesting question, though, is how many of those accounts are actually fake? How we many are Kevin? How many are Kevin? <laughs> Kevin, what, a couple thousand, maybe? I have 150 <laughs> currently. <laughs> there you go. Interesting, 120 million people log in to check their Facebook daily. It's a lot of people. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter is actually, uh, it's not as popular as it used to be. It's kind of, uh, uh, hasn't been growing as much as, as people have thought. But still, uh, 6.2 million people are joining Twitter every month. And by the end of 2009, we've seen about 75 million users. That is a large target base. So, social networks, it all comes down to trust, right? Fake accounts. We've touched on fake accounts before. That we all know that there's fake accounts all over the place. We Here's a great example. Fake accounts. Yes, we have our own fake accounts. This is not my fake account. This is one that I found. This is Kara, right? Yes, she's pretty, pretty girl, right? She's she's not real. She has a she. <laughs> that's right. She has a link to a nice, uh, sexy site. If you click on the link, it takes you to this. Yeah, fooling.com. Very nice. Very nice. Some. Sexy ladies, sexy ladies. Some of you guys may like that, right? That's right. <laughs> yes. Now here's another one here. We got, uh, her name is, is Carrie, but really it's Robert. Hmm, that's a clue, right? We got the uh, hot chick, right, that you, that you usually see in fake accounts. Uh, they're following more people that follows them. Uh, there's some misspellings. I'm 18 year old. Check out the tiny URL. It's the same in several places. That's a clue. And of course, when you click the link, it takes you here to this nice fake Twitter page, which is actually videos.secure.twitter.placement-selection.com. That is a phishing site. Real good HTML coding with a greater than. But to a lot of people, that looks like a Twitter page. Yeah. So Rick Astley, right? If you guys saw uh, our talk at DEF CON and my talk at Nauticon, I, I impersonated Rick Astley, and I had these great ambitions of actually rickrolling everybody. But rickrolling is so, I don't know, 2007, right? So let me ask you this. Who is the most dangerous woman on the internet? Kevin, Kevin. Kevin Johnson? <laughs> yes? <laughs> Who told? Yeah. No, it's, it's Jessica Biel. Jessica Biel is considered the most dangerous woman on the internet. And I am not making this stuff up. There was actually some research done by McAfee last year, and they determined that one out of every five Google searches with Jessica Biel takes you to malware. It's true. It's true. I consider this an advanced persistent threat. Screw China. Forget about China. This is, a, this is apt. Jessica Biel is Chinese. 
She could be. Yeah. Very well. Or Debian. Or Debian. Yes. <laughs> Pseudo app get. <laughs> <So> <laughs> we need to add that to the repository. <laughs> I think we should. So I decided to create this Jessica Biel bot, right? So she, she sends out quotes that these are actual quotes from Jessica Biel herself. Found a site that did that. Uh, I also found a uh, impersonation site where you can send pictures of yourself if you look like a celebrity, and one of those celebrities happened to be a Jessica Biel. So I found a nice picture of a young lady that kind of looks like Jessica Biel, and Jessica just replies to people with these nice, friendly, you know, thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, that's so nice of you. And it's interesting to see the people that actually think that that was really Jessica Biel. I was really upset when I saw this slide deck and realized she wasn't following me. Yeah, Kevin, Kevin <laughs> cried inside. Uh, so like this guy here, Herm K, you know, uh, he was getting a little annoyed because it kept saying the same thing. Third time you've th thanked me, you know, okay, quit now, leave me alone, please. Okay, you said it for the sixth time. Some people get a little annoyed, but, you know. But most people were like this guy who said, hey, thanks for following me. I thought I'd never be followed by a celebrity, so thanks again. <laughs> then, the, <laughs> you still haven't been. <laughs> yeah. So, so what makes a Jessica Biel bot, right? So, like I said, found the fake picture, found the name. What's interesting, if you look at the name in Jessica Biel, there's this I, right? An L looks like an I, depending on the font. So this is actually Jessica, Jessica by I, not Jessica Biel, because I didn't want to exactly impersonate Jessica Biel. I didn't want to get in trouble by all her thousands of lawyers and, you know, so, uh, so I signed up for an account on Twitter, LinkedIn, tagged. And what's interesting is Twitter has this great feature where you can link your account to all these different accounts. So on Jessica's LinkedIn account and Jessica's Facebook account, I can, whenever I post something on Twitter, it shows up on all those other sites. Awesome. What can we do with that? <laughs> so first I want to thank Nathan. I don't know if Nathan's in the room. Nathan Hamill is speaking tomorrow. He'll come to his talk. Uh, and Prabhu Deva, who is actually Benny Lava. Who knows what Benny Lava is, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So right before this presentation, I lava rolled all of my followers and everybody that was following me on Facebook, everybody that was following me on LinkedIn, all got the same message and they have been lava rolled. So I followed through, we got rid of that and we're done. Isn't the internet amazing? The internet is amazing, absolutely. Is, is anybody out there gonna admit that they got lava rolled? <laughs> no, one person. Awesome. Two. <laughs> so the point is here, it's still easy to exploit trust. These are the same techniques that attackers are using, creating these fake accounts to get you to click on links, not just lava roll links, but actual links that send you to bad places. There is not, there's really no good way right now to verify accounts and social networks. Twitter has tried with these Twitter verified accounts, but of course their process is extremely secret. No one knows what that is, and only a handful of celebrities have actually done it. DNA testing. DNA testing is one That's what I heard. Exactly. So let's talk about some privacy concerns that we found recently with social networks. Hey, Facebook privacy settings, right? Back in November, they, they made these massive changes to uh, their privacy settings, thinking that, you know, we're going to lock down more things. Wrong. More of your information now is available on Facebook than it's ever been before. So your name, profile picture, gender, currency, networks, friend li friends list, and pages are all public information. That means searchable on the internet. As they should be. They should be for us. Right. Exactly. Right. Now, what's interesting, you know, Mark Zuckerberg, founder of Facebook, says, you know, users don't want privacy. Privacy's dead. Screw that, right? Well, all of his pictures ended up public <laughs> after the Facebook privacy settings were put in place back in November. He didn't want that to happen. And this is the founder of Facebook. When he found out, he was hugging a teddy bear. Yeah, he is hugging a teddy bear in that picture. It's cute. Blippi. Who's heard of Blippi? Right? Woo! Yeah. Pen testers love this. Yeah, who's on Blippi? Besides Kevin. <laughs> oh. Why is it always besides Kevin? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Kevin is on everything. Yes. That's a good point. <laughs> Blippi is a new social network that allows you to tie your bank account or your credit card information, and you, everybody can see your purchases, including ATM withdrawals, including domain name registrations, like this guy. <laughs> and this guy even had a private registration done on a domain name that he renewed. So now, you know how private registrations are supposed to hide you from, from being